Hello Evil One. In this video I'm going to show you the various Evil Dead video releases I have in my collection from all around the world. And along the way I'm going to explain why The Evil Dead is my joint favourite horror film of all time. My other joint favourite horror film is John Carpenter's The Thing, another classic from the 1980s. Now The Thing is a slow burner that I love to watch about once a year, but I could happily relive the mayhem of The Evil Dead every other weekend, so they're very different propositions. The Evil Dead has everything. It has the original creepy cabin in the woods. It has the ancient Necronomicon book that those damn fool kids really shouldn't open. It has people not only becoming possessed, but physically transformed into demons. It's got violence that remains graphic and wince-worthy, even by today's standards. And it's got humour, slapstick comedy even, but it's all handled in a way that never undercuts the threat of the horror. So let me show you the Evil Dead videos within my very own Cabin in the Woods. These are the first three UK video releases of the movie, each in a different format. I'll try and keep this as ungeeky as possible, but nah, let's be honest, it's going to be really geeky, isn't it? You'll notice that they have different colour boxes. This is the VHS release. You see the lovely, it was released by Palace Video, and you can see a lovely embossed Palace box on the inside there. Um, these kind of boxes, in general, embossed boxes are quite sought after by collectors because they're just, you know, when you get a box like this, that it was the original box, and it just adds another another nice layer of enjoyment to the whole thing. In case you're wondering what this is, these silica gel packets are good to put inside VHS boxes because they help um, stem the rise of mould that can take hold of uh, the reels here and just completely destroy a tape, or at least destroy the, the playability of, of a tape. Um, so that's VHS, and then very quickly let me get ultra geeky and show you that this one is in here, the Betamax release. Look at that cute little tape in there. Now you might be wondering what this particular one on the right might be, um, because it's possible you may only have heard of the, the, the war between VHS and Betamax. But this here, in its lovely yellow box, is in the Philips V2000 format, which is just very much an also ran, at which quickly disappeared I believe. So this V2000 release is certainly the the rarest of the UK releases that I have. Before we move on I have to praise up Graham Humphreys the artist who was responsible for this cover. The word iconic gets hideously overused on a regular basis but it's really appropriate in this instance because this artwork is just so gorgeous and creepy and and pulpy and just fantastic. That's a German tape there on the left. I don't know what Tans der Teufel translates as, to be honest. It might be, maybe it means dead by dawn. Look at that, lovely. No label, printed straight onto the tape. What a delight. Now this one is Korean. I really like this. It's got a real sort of sleazy, video nasty feel. I really like that font. I really associate that font. I think that that's the actual on-screen font of the, of the title in the movie. Look at me talking about fonts and VHS on the internet. Now, you'll notice that this fella, I believe, is from the film The Goonies and not from The Evil Dead whatsoever. So that's an interesting marketing ploy on the behalf of the distributor there. But I am delighted to own this tape. Look at the quality of that. Oh, I love it so much. I've filled it with, with silicon gel <laughs> sachets and even a little bit of bubble wrap. This next tape here, this one is Japanese. 20th anniversary release. Now there's another version of this which has um, the demonic possessed Cheryl on the front. And I really like that cover. I'd like to get that sometime. I'm not sure how, how rare that one is or how much that how much that one would be. That's just great. Japanese VHS tapes in general are just really, really fantastic. Let's stick with that theme and look at some more. What you're seeing here are two of my favourite items in my whole video collection. 
probably doesn't take much working out to see what they are. The one on the left is VHS and the one on the right is a uh, Japanese Betamax in an insanely cute little box. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like a cassette tape, cassette tape box or something. And this one is actually sealed. I don't have a Betamax player anyway, at least not one that works. And so um, I won't be playing this. And so I might as well keep it sealed and looking extra gorgeous. The other thing I like about these tapes is just this cover image. I mean, that that is just for me an immortal image in horror. Cheryl locked up in the in the cellar shouting terrible, terrible things. It just looks amazing. Oh, and there she is again. Okay, so we have here two Australian tapes. As you might be able to see, the difference between these two is that one of them signed by Bruce Campbell himself. And also this tape in here is sealed, which is rather, rather nice. Let's see the back of that. And uh, this is, I believe, Hungarian. It's rather stylish. It kind of looks like it feels like it might be um, the equivalent of a sell-through tape. Remember like the UK sell-through market? It's funny how every release of the Evil Dead has different imagery to work from and some distributors even just add imagery themselves. I mean, who are these guys? These are all from America. That's a hell of a cover, isn't it? I'm not sure where that image, what the story is with that image, but I really like it. This is a, an American style carton, which is rather nice really like that cover image uh thorn emi these two here are both anchor bay releases and i really like these these um this type of case is called uh, a clamshell you can kind of see why this was just before dvd came along possibly or perhaps even dvd had come along and the VHS companies were realizing they had to compete perhaps somehow and so on the inner sleeve here on the inside there's some kind of sleeve notes and uh, Anchor Bay had a lot of that going on it's wonderful this is one of my absolute favorite Evil Dead VHS releases partly because I don't know if you can see in this light but it's just got a, it's got a lovely silvery metallic silver color combined with purple here and I think, yeah, you can see from this angle Cheryl's demonic face hovering over the woods and the, and the log cabin here, and it just looks fantastic. <laughs> Limited to 35,000 copies. I'm not sure in which sense that really truly was limited, but still. And in here, you've got a really nice uh, Evil Dead journal, which is a lot of fun because it just goes into some detail of the, the making of the movie, which is a hell of a story in itself. And uh, on the in inside of the, of the inner sleeve, there's some delightful, delightful images there. <laughs> are you still here? Are you still watching? You are, aren't you? Because you're every bit as ridiculous as me. These tapes, I believe, are Dutch. This is rather nice. And again, just every single release of the film seems to home in on different imagery. You know, you don't see the same photos on the back of every box. You can always rely on the Dutch to go for one of the gorier images in the movie. And incidentally, if anyone ever tells you that a film can't be gory and scary at the same time, then show them The Evil Dead. A couple of later UK releases here. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the one on the left uh, with a blockbuster label, which uh, some people may get a nice nostalgic rush from. Uh, it proclaims itself to be the full uncut version, and this is because The Evil Dead was cut in this country for quite some time. It was hauled through the courts at one point, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. Here are the last two tapes I'm going to show you. Uh, the first one here, as you may be able to see from the, the title there, or well, the tagline, I guess, La Nuit des Demons. Incredible French accent there, I'm sure you'll agree. Again, more images. I mean, for a low-budget movie, the producers of The Evil Dead certainly uh, made sure they gave distributors enough imagery to work with. Now, this one is one of my favourites, this last one. It's Spanish. 
uh, and just the title that is a great alternative title isn't it possession infernal absolutely marvelous that's another great image there I mean that's one of the things I love about the Evil Dead again it's just that I find it really genuinely frightening and these uh, possessed people in the Evil Dead are just nightmarish you wouldn't want to meet them in either a dark alley or a really really well lit alley now here's another reason why I love this uh, release a red videotape shell that is just frighteningly special isn't it now I wonder if you've enjoyed this or whether you're just sitting there slack jawed thinking Jason Arnold, what kind of a tragic bastard are you? Well, either way, it's helped pass the time, isn't it? If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit like, share, subscribe, and maybe even the small bell symbol beside subscribe that will notify you when I upload more nonsense to this channel. Thank you ever so much for watching, and do try to avoid being dead by dawn.